We previously launched and set up our own server using the Amazon free tier. In this part, we will install WAMP Server 2.5, which is the program needed to run our server. We'll begin this part from the exact point we stopped in the previous part. First of all, refresh the current page so the changes we made will take action. Now click on download at the top of the page. This takes us to the download section and shows us two options. To find out which version we need, we'll click on the start button at the task bar, then we'll use the alternate mouse key to click on this PC and choose properties. Search for the system type field. It should say the server operating system runs on 64-bit. With that information, return to the browser and choose the option to the right, the 64-bit installation. In this pop-up, click on download directly and wait a little bit for the download notification at the bottom of the screen. Choose to save the file somewhere on the server, on the desktop for example. When the download is finished, click on Run. The WAMP server installer is now open. We should actually install another program before we install the WAMP server, but eventually everything will work fine if we install the programs in the incorrect order as you'll see by the end of this part. Fine. Click on Next. You should now read the terms of use in the text field and if you accept them then click on I accept the agreement and then click on Next. Keep the installation directory as it is and click on Next. Here, check the Create a Desktop icon option and click on Next. To begin the installation, click on Install. While magic occurs in the background, I can tell you the WAMP server is actually a local server from which you can run your site on this actual server. The installation process of WAMP server on your personal desktop is pretty much similar to this one. The problems may arise due to port collision with other installed softwares like Skype. Both WAMP server and Skype use port 80. Answers to questions about these kind of problems can be found over the internet. Ok, now that the installation is finished, click on Open without changing anything else. Some alerts may pop up. It's not a big deal, since we expected that when we decided to install WAMP server before the other needed program, which we'll install right away. Click OK and close the program and wait for the installation to end. Now click on Next and uncheck the Program Run option, then click Finish. Alright, we're halfway through. We'll now install a package called Microsoft Visual Studio C++ 2012 Redistributable. For that purpose, search for the package name in any search engine. In the results page, look up for the result and site address that leads to the official Microsoft site as shown in this video. Click on the link and make sure you arrived at the same page displayed here. If you did, choose your preferred language and click on download. Select the x64 version which matches our server type and click on next. Click on Allow Once in the pop-up and save the file somewhere convenient.
wait for the download to finish and click on run to install the package. Read the terms of use appearing in this installation window and if you agree then check the checkbox and click on install. We'll wait a few seconds for the installation to finish and then click on close. We're at the very end of this part. At this point you may close all of the open windows. Now open the web server program by double clicking its shortcut on the desktop. An indication the program opened is visible at the lower right corner of the screen right in the taskbar. The icon should be green but it appears orange. To fix this issue we'll perform four actions. First action Click on the icon, select the Apache menu, then select the Services sub-menu and click on Install Service. Second action, similarly to the previous action, click on the icon, select the Apache menu, then select Services and choose Start slash Resume Service. Third action, Click on the icon and select Put Online. Fourth action, click on the icon once again and choose Restart All Services from the menu. Now make sure that the color of the icon have changed to green. If so, we are done. Good job! In the next part, we'll finally implement our site in the server and make it work. Goodbye for now and thank you for watching.